Hi, you are now on Andrew News YouTube channel. We have already reached the peak of our popularity among Russian followers. Now it's time to show up in English to entertain you even more. You're gonna see various exclusive videos, reviews of latest technologies which hadn't been announced yet. Don't waste your time and subscribe to our channel not to miss our videos. Let's get started. Today we're gonna talk about the most interesting latest releases from CS 2019 in Las Vegas. First, let's talk about a little odd but interesting rollable TV from LG that was already shown on previous CES 2018. A 65-inch LG Signature Series OLED TVR, which can be easily hidden away in compact soundbar with a capacity of 100 watts. Thanks to flexible OLED matrix, you can roll this TV or unroll it merely in 10 seconds. It runs WebOC with the support of Google Assistant and the price is about $8,000. Going further, Samsung demonstrated 95-inch QLED TV with 8K resolution. But if we compare it with 219-inch giant TV called The Wall, those 95 inches look like a little bit funny. Next, Daimler, the pairing company of Mercedes-Benz and Freightliner, introduced the new semi-autonomous truck on the base of Cascadia 5.0. It's not a prototype. The production will begin this summer and at the end of the year it should appear on the roads. The truck equipped with two LiDAR sensors and one camera on the front side. Two sensors under both front pillars will notify the driver if any objects like pedestrians, the cyclists or vehicles appeared in blind spots of the truck. The front camera is for the adaptive steering wheel function, which can keep the truck in the lane by itself with the adaptive cruise control turned on, but the driver should anyway keep his hands on the steering wheel. There is also an adaptive cruise control, which helps to follow the car ahead by moving faster or stopping down if it's needed for the full stop. There is also some technology used for emergency braking, which also uses sensors and cameras in the car. So I can say technology works for us. This is our future and it's impressive. Speaking about the CES 2019 updates, I just should talk about the NVIDIA RTX 2060 video card. All the techno bloggers of the world speak about it. Well, I'll tell you that according to the test. The new video card has practically the same performance as the well-known GTX 1070 Ti. The differences between these two cars only in supporting the ray tracing technology in the RTX 2060. A huge amount of different laptops were showed at the CES, for example, lightweight, durable and compact beauty ASUS ZenBook S13. QT Dell XPS 13, finally, it has a camera in the right place. well balanced Huawei MateBook 13, which for some reason has only 8GB of RAM. But all these things aren't so interesting as, for example, Samsung Odyssey, the world's first laptop with an integrated RTX 2080 video card, the one that is powerful and has ray tracing technology support. What's more, it has 8th generation Intel Core i7 processor, and they assure us about nice cooling system, a lot of ports and display with a full HD resolution and 144Hz update rate. However, I find the Transformer ASUS ROG mothership even more interesting. Actually, it's a 17-inch Surface Pro for gamers. Like Samsung, it has RTX 2080 Full HD display and 144Hz update rate. But the processor is even more powerful, Intel Core i9-8950HK. As for the gaming device, the ROG mothership has all kinds of RGB illuminations, but there is one thing which is totally amazing. It has a wireless keyboard that can be detached and even folded in half to take less space and look more classic. The computer itself turns into an all-in-all -all machine. By the way, if it's important that there is a cool built-in DAC 4 speakers, Thunderbolt 3 support and other cool things, including two massive power adapters. But now I have to finish this video. I mentioned only a small part of those interesting devices that were shown at CES 2019 in Las Vegas. I can tell you a lot about other equally impressive new products showed at this great exhibition, so if you're interested in it, click a like on my video, leave some comments so that I can see your feedback. Thank you for watching, share it with your friends, see you guys next time.